Okay, so we're here for the uh, the final game of the first round of the BFNL finals. This will be the qualifying final between North Ballarat City and East Point. I'm going to start with North City coach Annie McCartan. It was an incredible run that you managed to go on going through last season and then so much of this year undefeated, um, only to fall at the hands of East Point a few weeks back. And, and then to drop another game a couple of weeks ago against Sunbury. In, in a club that's got such a winning mentality, how did the group respond to that and what, what did you take out of those two losses? Um, yeah, well, it was a different feel because, um, um, you know, we've just had an amazing run. So um, we always knew it's going to be on the cards that it would come about. And um, then with East, um, yeah, it was a good game and, um, and they were just too strong for us. And then Sunbury was um, just a, um, a different lineup than what I thought, so, but that's okay. You just have to play who you meet on the day. And uh, I thought we did well though, really. Um, as when you sit back and analyse it, um, I thought the two losses, it was okay, if that sort of makes sense. Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is there anything you take out of those, those losses? I mean, going through a whole season, it's so rare that you're not going to lose a game somewhere along the line, yeah. um, especially against a side like East Point, who you probably knew somewhere along the line you were going to have to face them in finals. Um, <laughs> What did, what did you take out of that game in particular in terms of the way they went about their business? Yeah, well, um, well, that's a good question too. <laughs> um, you sort of look at things differently then because sometimes when you just um, you win your games and you think, well, you know, we've done what we sort of set out to do. But when you do have a loss, you have to look at other um, sort of or it could be structures or tactics that you have to employ now because that loss has meant that something broke down somewhere through the game. So a loss is sometimes a uh, awakening call to look at things a little bit differently than perhaps you would have if you had won the game. Sure. Um, over to Emma. It's clearly been a pretty fantastic season from your point of view. However, you did, did drop that game a couple of weeks ago to in what would have been a, a clean slate. Um, what, what obviously injuries played a part in that, but what did you take out of that loss to Ballarat? Yeah, look, I guess um, it's it's a good wake up call to show you that you're not quite as um, well, you're not invincible, and that you know, and any team on any day in this top six can um, can really challenge any other team, um, and that's that's been good for us. I think it's made us really, um, and I guess like Annie, it does make you sit back and think of where where it broke down and what's happened, and then. Um, and then work hard at, at what what you think has um, gone wrong on that day. So um, yeah, look, I think mentally it's 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 a good it's a good thing um, in one way. We certainly didn't go out to, to lose the game by any means, believe me. But um, and it hurt. It hurt a lot. And the girls, um, yeah, were were not happy with themselves. But um, but it is, I think it hopefully it'll make us stronger. In, in a lot of, in a lot of ways, this match up. With it kind of had the writing on the wall from that very first round, didn't it? To come away with a draw, um, it, re it really set the tone for what, what's become one of the great battles in um, the netball competition for the BFNL. Um, from your perspective, North have obviously been such a force over the last few years. What, what's critical in actually getting over the top of them? Um, quite obviously, Jordan Bibby. <laughs> Um, she's been a standout for you know for uh, a very long time in, in uh, the BFNL now. Um, so um, having said that, it's also stopping the feed into into Jordan. So um, you know we've worked really hard over the last few years to try and find a tall player to, to try and combat either either end, um, and we've managed to do that this year. And I think that's that's definitely helped us to to um, to slow Jordan's. Jordan down a little bit, um, but having said that, we're we're under no illusion that it's just a Jordan and Kate game on on Saturday. Um, it's definitely about how um, how they how they can feed to, to Jordan as well, and they've they're so very patient, um, and so um, you know wearing them down will be um, I guess a bit of a you know something that we'll be working hard on as well, so that they can't get that feed in easily. Mm. Um, and. Back to Annie just for a moment. Um, so it's probably it's a pretty rare feeling to come into a finals campaign where 
you've got to play a side that you haven't beaten this year. Um, what's that feeling like? And in in reverse, what what do you think you need to do this weekend to actually get over East Point? Okay. Um, well, yeah, there's a couple of sort of questions there, and a, a couple of answers would be. <laughs> really, what was the first question? <laughs> Um, play, playing a side that you, you haven't beaten this year in yes. the finals, that, that must be a pretty, a pretty strange feeling from, from your end for the, over the last couple yes, of years. exactly right, it is. And, um, you know, we just have to, you, you still have to um, keep to your game um, structures and plans. And um, because, you know, sometimes if you try to change things too much, that's when you can, you know, bring what you've sort of done for a couple of years now um, unstuck. So we'll just stick to what we know does work, yeah. Sure. I suppose, Annie, how does it feel going into the finals this year? Obviously, last year it was completely different. You were going in, you had lost a grand final the year before, you were going in hunting a premiership. This year, you're very much the hunters, but you've still got that same group that won the premiership last year that have been through it and know that feeling now. Do you think that's driving them a little bit more knowing that they've had that taste of it or is it one of those things where you're kind of sitting back and looking well hang on all these other teams know us we've been there hey, just tell us about that feeling i suppose no um isn't it funny like um when you've had a taste and you've won a grand final you think well you're satisfied no way it's once you've been there and you've done that you want to back up again so the feeling is um you know we're up and about and we're, we're quite excited and looking forward to um saturday and um, we just want to be able to, um, you know, get out there again and we want to be there on that grand final day. So it's a great feeling and we're really looking forward to it. I suppose, as Emma pointed out before, there's a lot of attention on your shooting end this weekend, obviously, with Jordan and, and Kate down there. But at the other end, obviously, the lady you're sitting next to has proven to be no slouch in the shooting department, nor has Lauren Jew, who always, for such a young player, seems to play so well on the big game occasion. It's a really big task for Emma Church and Sarah Milton this weekend. Oh, it sure is. Um, with Emma's experience, she's really um, done a wonderful job with Lauren. And when you have a wise head and a young head together, they complement one another. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, Em's done that and yeah so um, those girls will have their work cut out and but we'll just have to um, try and um, just see what we can do as the, the game unfolds there but um, yeah it'll be a, a good match up between um, Em and Lauren and Sarah and Emma. And I suppose over to you Emma, mm -hmm. different year this year obviously not taking on the coaching range yourself Firstly, how has that freed you up, obviously, just as a player? And secondly, with Sasha coming in and some different ideas and everything like that, do you feel that that's kind of reinvigorated the club a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, look, I guess when we heard Sasha was back in town, we were very keen to get her on board at East um, East again. So, um, and she has, She's, I guess she's quite different. Um, she's got a different approach to, to mine um, and I think well obviously so far it's working and it's working really well um, you know I'd been there for six years so um, I think it was definitely time to, to turn to turn it over um, but I definitely didn't want to walk away without having another crack at, at, at a premiership or um, at a grand final spot at least so um, it's look I, I guess for me I've um, you know, this is probably the longest I've gone now without having had a baby too. <laughs> um, so I think that makes a huge difference too to my game. I feel fitter this year. I, um, yeah, and I do. I look mentally. It's um, it's freed up. It's freed up my mind to just concentrate on my own game, which has um, been really great. A lot of attention on obviously some of the players that we've spoken about, but. You've got some unheralded players there that've got some really big jobs this weekend. You look at Claire Blanchfield, you look at Bet Smith, Marcel Galjon, that will have to line up on Liv Jones, Gina McCartan, that are so important in not just the way they move the ball, but also that feed into Jordan. It could be a really big game for some of these unsung players as well. Yeah, and I guess um, over the season, they, those players that you've um, that you've mentioned there have um, have stood up, uh, and it, it's the you know they're the reason that we're we're heading into the, well, we're in the position that we are. Um, I guess we've got a really great mix of, of experience and of um, some youth and the excitement from the youth is along with, um, as Annie put it, wise heads, but I'm, you know, um, the, the, the maturity of the, um, the, older, the older crew, um, I think is a really great mix um, to sort of, yeah, to, to work as a, as a really great unit. And, you know, we've, we've played together as, most of us for a good while now and we're pretty hungry for this 
for this final series. So um, hopefully, hopefully um, it'll yeah it'll come our way. Does this one feel different? Obviously, the last few years we know is we know the history of it. I won't go over mm -hmm. it again, but. This year, obviously, you've had such a fantastic season. It seems that you've got the pieces in place. Does this feel like it's the year? Um, yeah, yes and no. Um, as I said, I, I've, um, you, you just can't be complacent in this. You know, we know only having dropped one game last year against North and then getting beaten in the second semi by, by Sunbury, um, who we had beaten convincingly during the season. So, you know, you, you can't, you just can't go in um, with anything other than and than being um, ready and um, and and to take whatever it is the other team's going to throw at you because we know that no one's going to lay down for anyone. Thanks so much. Great.